Do you find that manifestation just seems to be harder for you than it is for other people? Maybe you have old stories that just continue to pop their damn head in your life. Well, I got some good news for you because you have the power within your very essence to be a master manifester. You are not doomed to your past and it is not your fault that your life has been the way that it is up until this point, that you have the programs that you do, that your life and mindset is the way that it is, but you're not doomed to it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahaza, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. It's so nice to have you here on the channel. If you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, checking out my free masterclass on self-concept, or purchasing my brand new book, that I just came out with called Becoming a State Shifter, then all of that and more is in the description down below and also on my website, www.rahaza.com. So let's get into today's video. So yes, everybody, and I mean everybody, can manifest. We all have the power to manifest within us. It is in our very essence. Humanity is both the creator, we're also receivers. We are able to create a life that we love, but we're also able to receive that light and experience it and manifest it into this world. We have the power to do both. There's not one person that is more capable of this power than another. We have the same equal playing field when it comes to our level of manifestation. The power lies in the person's desire and ability to learn more about it, to put more effort towards it. And not only that, but it also is affected by a concept that I'm going to be talking about in this video. But God is not some man in the sky that decides who is worthy and unworthy of being able to manifest quickly. Okay. God does not pick favorites on who the universal laws apply to. It applies to us all. It is up to us to decide how much we want to implement that and use that in our lives on how much we want to dedicate ourselves to learning and practicing and developing the skill and the art of manifestation. And you know, manifestation in all honesty, and this I talk about this in my book as well, but manifestation is so much more than like the superficial new age stuff, the trendy stuff that we're all talking about, like manifest $500 here, manifest an SP, manifest this, that. Like that's all great, you know, we can manifest all those things, but ultimately manifestation is so much more powerful than we give it credit for. Manifestation is literally us being the creator of our reality. We get to create this earthly experience to be however we desire it to be. Everything originates in consciousness. It's about not just acquiring things physically, but understanding that we have the ability to completely shift our state to a higher state of being, that we can live in the world of happiness. We don't need to be constantly living in these ups and downs every single day. We have the power to decide that we're no longer going to be living in the world of illusions, but in this miraculous world where things just work out for us. You know, we want to live in the world, not just where we achieve and manifest one thing, but where we actually are living in a state where we just know for a hundred percent fact that everything comes to us with ease, you know, that we are master manifestors. And this goes back to, you know, the topic of self-concept and the power of really developing a strong self-concept to be able to believe that manifestation works for us. You clicked on this video because you believe that manifestation is harder for you. So that shows that you have a self-concept that you are someone who manifestation is harder for. Because you have that story, that's what you're gonna see reflected back to you in your reality, that manifestation is a little bit harder for you than it is for others. Right? So that's just like the intro thing I want to say is that we need to start telling ourselves the affirmation and the story every single day. Manifestation is easy for me. Uh, manifestation works for me faster than it works for other people. I am the exception, not in a bad way, but in a good way. Like manifestation just, you know, it, it just works especially well for me. So as soon as you notice, this should be for any, anything you want to manifest. If you notice a thought that comes up that says manifestation is hard for me, it's in that moment we need to switch it around and feed the new mental diet, the new affirmations that input the new reality we want to experience, which is no, I'm a master manifester. I literally think something once and it manifests. That's the story we need to infiltrate into our mind. Even if we don't believe it, we still say it to ourselves so that it impresses upon our subconscious mind and whatever is impressed upon our subconscious mind ine inevitably expresses itself in our world. So that is the goal to get ourselves to believe we are master manifestors. What do you mean? You clicked on this video now. No, you didn't. This video is actually now titled why you're such a master manifester because you are. Okay. Are you just a person who manifests well, or are you just a person who has a hard time because of your past story? Are you allowing that to be the excuse and the reason why you're not taking your creator power back? 
because that needs to stop right now. Take your attention away from the old story and do not let it limit you in this new version that you're creating. Is it easier said than done? Yeah, it absolutely can be. And that leads me to the first real point I want to say in this video. First and foremost, that it is not your fault that you have the programs and stories that you do. Okay. I know that you probably heard that you created everything in your life, everything in your, in your reality is a manifestation of, you know, your subconscious thoughts and your subconscious programs. And I want to say that if this is the case and you feel super discouraged, like this is the life I created to not beat yourself up because it's actually, you know, although it is your responsibility to change your life, it's not completely your fault that your life is the way that it is. You didn't consciously create your reality to be the way that it is. We're all born into certain circumstances that program us a certain way. And you know, we all go through things in our life. So whether it's a big thing or a small thing that happened in our life to make us the way that we are, to experience the reality we're currently experiencing, the number one thing I want to push out there, send out there is that it's not your fault, okay? So maybe you see and you feel like you have perceived limitations. Now, I want to introduce this Kabbalistic concept called Tikkun. Now, many of you guys, if you guys have been watching my channel, then you know this. And if you haven't, then welcome. Now you'll know this, that I've been studying the wisdom of Kabbalah for many years now. My parents have been studying it my whole life. So it's kind of like a foundation. And I like to, you know, kind of bring it back into uh, the modern manifestation approach, just kind of blend. I mean, ultimately, I believe at the end of the day, the spiritual teachings and the ways of expressing things all coincide you know they're all there's truth to everything it's just expressed in different ways and through different terminology and communication and whatever so ultimately i believe there's truth to everything and it's all about what we believe and what we resonate to so we should always follow that always follow what you resonate to there's no right or wrong anyway a little rant over there but coming back to this concept that kabbalah calls tikkun so this is a concept which by the way we should not look at this as an excuse but rather to see why we are the way that we are so we know what we need to change okay so the idea is that our soul our higher self the god that lives within us that is not limited to this body that is so much more expansive and not confined by the human limitations but our soul chose this human experience it chose our parents. It chose the family, the circumstances that we're going to be born into, right? Because we like, ultimately, yes, we have the power to control our life from this point on. You're here in this video, you have the understanding that you can create your life, but you didn't have that choice consciously when you were born into this world. You didn't consciously choose your parents. You didn't consciously choose an abusive partner and you didn't consciously choose these things that happened to us in our life. So if we know that we can consciously change our reality by impressing our subconscious mind, that is true. But it is also true that we did not consciously control or choose everything that is experienced that we're experiencing, especially when it comes to what is programmed in us at a young age, right? So where, you know, this concept tikkun comes in is that it's ultimately our soul chose this specific baggage, this specific limitation, these specific subconscious beliefs that we're carrying around with us on our backs through this life that are quote unquote limitations and, you know, problems and corrections that our soul needs to go through. We chose these things before we came. And so these repeating cycles that we see throughout our life, manifesting the same type of person, manifesting the same type of situation, relationship, um, experience, circumstance, business, partnerships, whatever the circumstances are that you see as a pattern repeating in your life the reason for that is because it is what we call a tikkun something that our soul you know is, has a harder time with it could even be thought patterns right negative thought patterns continuing to go back to that it could be insecurities i'm insecure about this and that and that could be your tikkun it's really just what is a big problem area in your life that is hard for you to shift that is called our tikkun this correction is kind of like the blueprint that we entered into this world with and is the reason that we are the way that we are the reason we're programmed with the programs that we're programmed with so that five times fast <laughs> So why do we have certain challenges that are different from other people's challenges? We cannot compare because our soul came into this world to execute that particular challenge and experience, not to stay stuck in that experience, but to rise above it. And now with the awareness that we have with, you know, the modern uh, manifestation information that we're getting is that we don't have to stay stuck in the story that we were born into, that we actually do have the conscious power to be able to change it. The way that we change it is through infiltrating our subconscious mind which we can use our conscious mind to help us do we are manifesting based on our tikkun based on what we were grown up with and programmed with at a young age 
and that was not our fault, right? That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, it's not your fault that you have the programs you do, but that's not an excuse and a reason why you cannot change those programs. May it be harder for you than it is for someone else? It absolutely may be, but you have the power to decide that you can completely disidentify yourself from that old story and completely recreate a new story for yourself. Completely choose new thoughts every single day. Yes, it may take a lot of effort, you know, initially, especially if you're redirecting your thoughts from your old paradigm of thinking to the new and the new life you want to create. You have that power to completely reprogram your mind, continue to choose new pathways. Every time you think of the old limitation, you can choose the new story and you're creating new neural pathways in your brain that your brain will eventually naturally go more towards because ultimately our brains just want the familiar. So we need to change what is familiar to us. We are familiar, of course, with the story that was programmed into our brain at a young age, but we can change the story. You are not doomed to your old story. So why is manifestation harder for you? Your tikkun, your process is uniquely yours. That is what you must first become aware of. You know, what is my process? Instead of viewing it as a limitation, you do whatever you need to do, the energy work you need to do to release it, to process it, you know, whether that's, you know, going to therapy, doing breath work, doing EFT tapping, doing hypnosis, doing deep energy work, crying sessions, you know, having just releasing sessions where you're able to release that trapped emotion from your body. Those things are all very important to do to release trapped emotions. But then after you do that, it's important that we put most of our focus, 95% of our focus, not in the limitation, not in what's wrong, but in what we are creating. View your journey, your story, the, the reason that you are the way you are, instead of as um, a downfall, use it as your unique gift because whatever it is that you struggle with the most, whatever your biggest tikkun is, is actually, it's it seems to be a limitation at first, but when you overcome it, that becomes your greatest gift in this world that you can bring into this life and help other people with. So everything in life is the way that you perceive it. So choose to perceive the quote unquote limitations and the things that you carry from your past instead of as a limitation and a blockage for you to manifest, use it as a reason why you can overcome it. Because if there's a problem, Neville Goddard says, if there's a problem, there's automatically a built in solution. So, you know, you know, be grateful for the problem because what does that mean? It means you're now going to appreciate the solution so much better when you get to it, which you will, you're going to live your life in a completely new state. Now, all manifestation techniques, like the scripting, the visualizing, the affirming, everything is right. There's no right or wrong. Everything that you, that you can do to manifest is correct. They all work, but some of them might create more resistance than others. And that is why it's so important to, you know, know yourself, know what works for you, know what doesn't work for you, trial and error. And it's an individual journey. You know, we have to look within ourselves to make the change. At the end of the day, we all have our different experiences. So we need to tune in with our higher self. What is going to work for me? to best manifest. You can listen to coaches, you can listen to teachers and that's beautiful and that's great. But at what point are you put, taking your power out of the external world and putting it into yourself? Okay. You're the greatest teacher that you are ever going to find. We need to take accountability and responsibility to be certain in our own methods and not to be relying on teachers or the external world to validate our experience. You have the ability to control your life from this moment forward. And that's what matters. But everyone has different starting points. Instead of being a victim to it, learn about yourself, heal what needs to be healed, but know when it's time to bring yourself out of that state and not remain stuck. You have the power to elevate. So take that power and manifestation does not have to be hard for you. You do not need to live by that story. So that's all for me in this video, guys. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please leave it a like and a comment down below, letting me know what was the most valuable thing you got out of this video. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.